So one of the most common questions I get is, what should I track my exercise as? So if you're on the Apple Watch and you go through here, um, there are a few that commonly get misused. So we're gonna go off of these four. So strength training, um, cross training, functional training, and high intensity interval training or HIIT training. Um, these all end up getting mixed up. So we're gonna go through what each of these are. So strength training is when you're doing resistance-based training. So that's gonna be with dumbbells, on cable machines or using resistance bands. Um, you it could be a home system or a gym system, but it's specifically for resistance training. Uh, the, on these, your heart rate is not gonna be as elevated, um, but you are going to maintain and continue moving for this. Obviously, if you take too long of a break, it will ask you if you're still working out or not. Um, cross training is going to be a bit more of a combined style of exercise. You'll find this more so in boot camps or in a class setting. This is where you're combining both strength, strength training and some cardio stuff. So let's say you're doing some exercises with, with weights, dumbbells, or just body weight, but then you also are incorporating maybe jumping jacks or mountain climbers. Um, cross training in this case would be the one to go for. Then functional training is anything that's considered functional. So really functional training you just ask yourself the question of what is it functional for? Um, functional for what, right? So typically it's going to be exercises that transfer into your everyday life. Um, sometimes it's a little bit more therapeutic. Sometimes it is more fitness and performance based. So this one, it can be very broad as far as uh, functional training goes, but it's an excellent choice if you're doing more corrective style exercises. And then HIIT training is very specific. So HIIT training is when you are constantly jumping your heart rate um, almost to the max uh, intermittently throughout your program. So you could be doing some, you can incorporate in HIIT training, you can incorporate some strength based exercises, but it's usually less likely. It tends to be more um, body weight exercises and, and really focusing on getting the, your heart rate elevated quickly. Um, and that's a pretty easy overview as far as which one to choose. I hope y'all find that helpful.